So Fortnite Season 5, Chapter 2 Season 5, has introduced a brand new rarity, Exotic, which is a new weapon var variant you can find around the map. It can usually be obtained by bosses, but today we are going to be doing another tier list, and this tier list is for all the exotic weapons. So first off, we got the brand new Burst Quad Launcher, which could be obtained via Fish Stick at Craggy Cliffs or or Coral Castle. Now, I've only used this thing once, because it just came out last night, and it's actually pretty decent. I'll give it a C. Next up, um, we got Predator's Cloak from Stealthy Stronghold. This can be obtained by Predator, and... I, I've only used this thing, like, once, because it's really hard to get. It's actually pretty decent, though I'm not sure where to put this. Like, it makes you invisible for 30 seconds, but it doesn't give you any extra mobility. So, I mean, I guess, I mean, I'll give it a D, because honestly, it's not really that good. Um, the Hop Rock Duelies, which are from Cole, they can spawn near Maeve's Totem or at Retail Row, and they're actually really good. I'm going to put them at B, because if you shoot them, you can neglect fall damage. The only real downside is it does consume a lot of ammo, but, you know, they're, they're dual pistols. They kind of have to. Okay, Blaze. So, Blaze is... Dragon Breath Sniper. So Dragon Breath Sniper could be found at Timber Tent or Pristine Point, which is the little neighborhood next to um uh what was it? Steamy Stacks. Um it's actually a really good sniper. I'll give it A category. Sniper does like 110 damage and does fire damage too, so next up we got the Boom Sniper, which comes from Sploge, which is an island near Craggy Cliffs. And, personally, it's okay, but it only does 10 damage. So, I'll give it a D, I'll be honest. I act like I like it, but honestly, it's not that good. Next up, we got the Double Barrel Shotgun, which comes from Dummy at Stealthy Stronghold or Compact Cars. Now, I've only used this thing, like, twice. Um, the damage is kind of bad. Like, the range is just horrible. The range on this thing is worse than any other shotgun in the game. Like, I'd honestly pick up a blue tack over, over the Double Barrel Shotgun, if I'm being honest. But... I will put this in C. Next up, we got um, the scoped revolver from, from Man Cake at Butter Barn. Uh, F in the chat for this, for this pistol, because I hate this thing. Truett has Heat Seeker. Truett does a lot of damage, but it's actually really bad. Reach this pistol from Dirty Docks. So this pistol, suppressed pistol, does a lot of damage, but and it only marks enemies whenever you hit them for only a short time too. So I'll give it an E. Lexa's Storm Scout from Hunter's Haven. This thing is interesting. Because it can tell you where the next storm circle is. It's really good for rotations. And I heard it actually does have better no-scope accuracy. So I'll, I will put it at eggs. I do like that sniper. Um, Mandalorian's um, sniper. This thing, you cannot no-scope with it. So so for trick shot, it kind of sucks. But, um, the... But honestly, I don't know where to put this. Um, should I put it? Uh, I'll put it at C because I don't know where to put it. 
Because I do like the sniper, but again, it's not that good. But, but it does also give some rotation, so I guess... Yeah, if you just keep on doing, like, the jabbing, that, that thing, you can just keep on going. So technically, that's pretty good. Next up, the jetpack. This jetpack actually low-key sucks because of the how, how much you can use it. Sorry, but it really sucks. The Chug Cannon came out last night. It's, uh, it's amazing. Gotta put it at S. And finally, the Big Chill. Um, I'm not really a huge fan. I'll put it at D. And I'm pretty sure it's actually removed by this point. But, uh, yeah, that's me ranking all the, um, weapons, exotics. And hopefully you all enjoyed.